How to make your online learning more effective? Writing down essential points may be a useful tip. Just like in traditional classroom settings, taking notes may make it easier to remember the important pieces of information you will need to retain. Hi, I'm Anna from Wondershare Demo Creator. And today, I'm going to share with you some note-taking strategies and tips for online courses. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss the latest tips and tricks for video creation. We've got eight tips to help you take good notes while you're taking an online course. Here we go. Number one, take notes on all course content. When taking notes for an online class, be sure to take notes on all course material, including posted video lectures, PowerPoints, readings, and posted activities. Number two, take notes by hand. Taking handwritten notes during your online course can eliminate a lot of unnecessary computer steps. For instance, you won't have to click back and forth between your class and your typing document. You won't need to pause videos or lectures you're streaming either. Simply pull out a pen and notebook and start writing, or use a smart pen if you have one. Number three, don't write everything down. Research shows that students have a tendency to write everything down when taking notes during an online course. This is mainly due to the absence of textbooks, handouts, and other material normally provided in a traditional classroom. Writing down as much as possible can actually hurt a student's ability to study. Too many notes can lead to information overload, limiting the amount of material a student is able to recall at a later time. Number four, take notes while reading. Many online courses primarily involve reading the material and watching lectures on your own. Experts suggest becoming an active reader in order to get the most out of the material and your notes. For example, Take notes while reading the material, rather than reading or skimming through it and jotting down a few notes later. Mark what catches your eye as you read. If you don't understand something, leave a question mark in the margin and go back to it later. Number five, be aware of repetition. If you notice while watching or listening to lectures, reviewing PowerPoints, or reviewing posted course materials that your professor has mentioned the same fact twice or more, or has repeated a fact that was talked about in the previous lecture, make a note to yourself. Circle it, underline it, something to tell your brain to pay attention. It's definitely going to be important later. Keep an eye out for repetition. Number six, use diagrams or pictures. If you have a hard time finding the right words when taking notes, then try drawing pictures or diagrams. If the passage you're reading is about the anatomy of the human body, consider drawing a picture of the body and labeling it with a short description. Diagrams can also help you record concepts in a way that you're able to understand and grasp quickly when glancing back over your notes. If there's a diagram or picture in the material online, try saving it to your computer so you can print it out and add it to your notes later on. Number seven, review your notes. At the end of the day, whether you take notes by hand or a computer or through a phone application, it's a good idea to review your material right after the online course. The information you've just read, heard, or watched will still be fresh in your mind, giving you the opportunity to make the most of your notes. Number eight, use note-taking software. There are a variety of note-taking software programs available to help students take, store, share, and retrieve notes from any place at any time. Even if you're taking your notes by hand, you might want to type them later and store them in your computer. Here's a list of some note-taking programs and applications. Evernote. Evernote is one of the more popular note-taking programs. This software must be purchased and can be used with Windows, Mac, Android, or iOS devices. It's a catch-all for your notes, whether they are handwritten or typed, it can store them. Features include support for image, audio, and video storage, optical character recognition for scanning papers, email integration, easy sharing, web page bookmarking, and more. Microsoft OneNote. Microsoft OneNote is an easy-to-use program, and it's free. OneNote is part of the Microsoft Office and built to interact with Word and Excel. 
It's also available as an app for Android or iOS phones and the web. This program gives users the ability to take notes, draw images with a stylus, record audio notes and share notes with others. Google Keep. Google Keep is Google's very own version of a note-taking application. It's available on the web and through Android and iOS phones. This program is a cross between Evernote and OneNote, easy to use and entirely free. Google Keep works in conjunction with Google Drive and Google Documents, giving you access to other software when taking notes online. This program allows for image and text scanning and storage, note-taking and voice recording. It also allows you to store URLs for websites. SimpleNote SimpleNote is an easy-to-use, free program that is designed specifically for taking notes. As its name implies, it's a very basic program intended for text storage only. This is a great product for students to start with when looking to use an application to assist with note-taking. It's available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS systems. Those were hopefully some useful ways to help you take notes while taking online lessons, but you may have no time to take notes in class. There is also the unique way to help you review your studies. Just record your online course in Wondershare Demo Creator and review it later. Then you'll have no time limitations and you'll be able to review it over and over again. If you don't have Wondershare Demo Creator, there's a link in the description below for a free trial. After opening the Wondershare Demo Creator program, you can click the New Recording button to start your screen recording. Then a pop-up window will appear. By default, Demo Creator will record a middle-sized screen. To customize your recording area, you just need to drag the border to adjust the size of the region. This way, you will be able to make precise adjustments to your region size. In order to get a high-quality recording, you can go to the Settings tab and choose 120 frames per second recording. After that, you can click the red round recording button to start recording. During recording on a Mac, you can click Shift Command 2 to stop recording or click Option Command 2 to pause or resume. On a Windows PC, you can click F10 to stop recording or click F1 to pause or resume. After the recording is finished, the screen and audio will show directly in the Demo Creator video editor. You can edit it as you like or export it to share it. Super easy to use. Okay, so those were some useful tips that we hope will help you take great notes during your online learning. If you found this video useful, do click that like button and leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time!